Question 11. So the range of our function. Well, if this is zero, then it's going to be five. Now, it's always got to be more than that, hasn't it? So therefore, we can say that our function must always be more than or equal to five. That's what we mean by the range. Now, part B, it tells us our function is equal to half x plus 30. Now, modulus. So this could be, so we need to write this out as two possible ideas. Okay, so let's just write down where we are at the moment. All right, so we've got 2, 3, minus x plus 30. Five, and we're saying that's got to be equal to half x plus 30. So let's consider option 1. So that's when this is ending up being a minus. Let's imagine that's minus in front there. So if we multiply that out, that's going to give us minus 6 plus 2x plus 5 equal to half x plus 30. So let's go on and solve that option first of all. So that will give me minus 1 plus 2x equals half x plus 30. Um, and then that will give me 3 over 2x equals 31. So x must be equal to 62 over 3. Now let's consider the other possible option. What about if this ends up being a, a positive? So that would give us 6 take away 2x plus 5 equals half x plus 30. So the best way of doing these is just to consider both options. Um, so if we go from there, that will give me minus 19 equals 3 over 2x, multiplied by 2, divided by 3. So that's going to give me minus 38 over 3 equals x. Right. What do we know about x? x has to be more than or equal to zero, so therefore it cannot be that. It's got to be that option. Now part C. So it says, given the equation, so the function of x equals some constant k, and it's got two distinct roots. So the best thing to do is just to figure out, right, what, what does that actually mean? So it means it's equal to some constant number. So in other words, got a line that goes across like this somewhere. So what's the minimum it could be? Well, I know this point here is 5. So k has to be more than 5. So we know that. So k is going to have to be more than 5. It can't be 5 because then it would only cross over once. And then it can go up to the highest it can be is at this point here. And also it includes it. So I need to work out this point here. And that's when x is equal to 0. So if x is 0, 3 take away 0 is 3 times 2. So that point up there has got to be 11. So k have to be less than or equal to 11. So let's piece that in in one nice line because that's a bit messy, isn't it, all over the place. So k should be less than or equal to 11 and it should be more than 5. 